What's up, you guys? Welcome to my blind playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. The wait is finally over. It was a long wait, too, of me not doing any videos and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Let's get into it. No idea what to expect. This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Oh, we're playing. With full hearts and everything, yes! Where's Ganondorf? Let's take him out. This is cool, walking alongside Zelda with her short hair. I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. Alright, let's, let's get our controls. Remember how to do these things here. Yeah! People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But. I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. This is a cool opening. I like it already. I mean, we knew we were going to like it, though, right? It's Zelda. What Zelda game has been bad? Full stamina, too. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, the sword's doing something. Link. The Master Sword. It must be sensing something. I knew we had a reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. We must be careful as we move deeper. Swing sword. Oh, we got some combat. What do we got? Guardians. Glowing blue. Music is crazy. What do you see, Zelda? These are runes from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these runes be from the Zonai? Just getting right into it, I guess. Learning about these Zonai things that everybody's been talking about. These carvings. I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. These Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none gives us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. Oh, okay, now it's getting a little bit... Well, no, it's still good. 
Is this what the Zonai look like? They seem so different than us and such large ears. <laughs> you have large ears already. It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Link looks awesome with this champion's tunic all. Let's just go wreck stuff. Bats? Bats! Spin attack! You are not hurt, are you, Link? They were just bats. Look at these murals. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> This is similar to the statues we saw earlier, a Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... the Kingdom of Hyrule. This figure... He seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> if the creature depicted here really does represent the demon king, then... Incredible! This mural must be the Great War recorded in the Royal Histories! This is the Imprisoning War! And the events that led up to it! Link! This is a huge discovery! <laughs> All right then, now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. <clears throat> Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. I like how excited Zelda gets about this stuff. She seems to have picked up her, uh, the voice actress seems to have delivered more, uh, emotion in those lines. Like, that was genuine excite excitement, jeez, words. There was genuine excitement there. Oh boy, we got malice or something going on. This music is so ominous, I love it. Kind of like Majora's Mask when you're approaching the clock tower and it's just like... It's getting louder. Like, significantly. Holy crap. Oh, 
What is this place? Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. Well, okay. I don't know why you would say not yet. What is that? Ganondorf defeated from long ago? This is so cool, man. I can't believe this is happening right now. is ridiculous yeah how's that taste what's that the sword that seals the darkness the blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me Zelda you who carries that fragile sword a link Roru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? All that comes to mind is air crud. I guess we're not gonna be using the Zora armor to swim up the waterfalls to the castle. So Zelda just vanished. I don't know if that was intentional using her power. It looked like it, but... Who's to say, really? And the hand saved the link. That's even weirder. Raru, he said. Raru placed their fate like the Sage of Light. Ganondorf doesn't mess around, man. If he can do that from a decayed state. 
Might just be the strongest move we've ever seen Ganondorf do. Link, oh, sorry. Finally, you wake. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. going. All right. I gotta say, it's really cool that they show you're at full power and then just get completely wrecked. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. So it's not malice, it's gloom now. Seems way worse than malice. Hey, it shows the Pro Controller. Hand. Hands are a theme, they were saying. It's been hard to, like, not see stuff about this game with Nintendo tweeting things and... I did watch the Treehouse live event leading up to it, at least up until like 11.30 and then I went and drove to GameStop and there was like 35 people in that GameStop, dude. Everybody trying to get this game. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Oh, you know what we got to test? The whistle run. They patched it. So we're pressing A to jump. I thought it was X. Like it is X. The prompt was just weird. height will prevent you from taking fall damage. That's good. I see treasure. Archaic legwear. Simple classic legwear. I mean, sure, why not? I like the shorts though. Going black instead of blue. Is there a shirt around here? There's all these little nooks, you never know. I'd hate to miss the shirt. But alright. Let's just... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Is this... Our walk out onto the Great Plateau. Yeah, it's... It, yep, same music and everything. Well, a little different. to go on a crazy adventure, dude! So many hours. Oh, that's neat. I like the placement of that. And now we plummet to our death.
That was cool. So we're starting in the sky. Great Sky Island. Well, let's just do what we know. Get tree branches, pick up every little thing that we can find, like these mushrooms. Sky Shroom, that's new. I like Link's design, like the combination of the tattoo look. I meant to dodge that attack. Soldier construct horn, very sharp handle with care. Zonai charge. Now I have seen people put these in the little like gotcha machines. I think Nintendo themselves have shown that. It, may, it was in one of those trailers, too. Jeez, I don't know what to do first. It's so daunting. Like, it's awesome, but it's like, what do you do? Just... What's up here? Birds? A wooden stick. Yeah, from all the footage that I have seen of this game, it looks like there's, like, no weapons anymore. Everything's a stick. Because I guess they want you to really, like, fuse things together and create these random objects. But we shall see. I like the yellows. Ah, it's just... There wasn't much of this in Breath of the Wild, so it is kind of unique to see this much yellow in one place. What is this? A broom. No, I don't know. It looks like a broom. A friendly dude. Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. The phone. Or the camera, or the Pura Pad. I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. That's a switch. So that's how they differentiate the two the Sheikah Slate and. I received it from Princess Zelda. I've now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where are we? We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Find Princess Zelda. That black font bothered me. Like it needed an outline or something, a border, or a shadow backdrop, something to make it stand out. But I don't know, maybe, maybe that would actually look worse. Just after making so many video thumbnails and stuff, when you put text on screen, it, it's... Yep. Yep. Danger! I'm just throwing pots, man. It's Zelda. I must protect myself. I'm getting apples. 
Okay. Simmer down, wooden stick. How much stuff can we carry right now? You seem to be new here. Do you intend to use that as a weapon against soldier constructs? Who? Are those of us given strict orders to protect this land? The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. And uh, we kind of already did a little bit of that. You can practice targeting on me. Oh, but please don't actually attack. I'm targeting. Targeting. Tree branch. Press and hold. Oh, are we full up now? No? It's just telling us how to throw it? Okay. You gotta give it to them. They did make it so it feels new again. That's kind of a big feat. Give me that frog! Yes. Like, how do you make a game in the same world, but still make it feel new? And yet they pulled it off. Tree branch is badly damaged. We'll take it to the face. And we will go more tree branch. Oh, geez. All right. I gotta be dodging here. Take your stick. Now, see, I know we could fuse these parts, but we don't have any abilities yet. My worry is that this game is going to be too fool aroundy, for lack of a better word. And then I'm going to miss the Breath of the Wild uh, runes, like the bombs. What the heck was that? But maybe it's something you got to feel for yourself and get into, and maybe it's not so bad. Let's mount this thing, whatever it is. Oh, jeez. Well, that... That went a little sideways. Just grabbing mushrooms, man. Find a cooking pot and we'll be good to go. Ooh, what do we got here? Long stick, you can't carry any more melee weapons. Well, given the choice, get rid of the tree branch. And, okay. The menu kind of lingers a little bit. When you let go of the button, it's, it's different from Breath of the Wild by like a couple milliseconds. There we go. Get this tree branch. Yeah! So we were full on weapons, but we still used that extra one anyway. The health situation is a little scary, though. I just would hate to waste recovery stuff. I like to have a lot of things. We are lured in by the delicious smells? Or were you? You're roasting them. You are unfamiliar to me. My apologies among my tasks is to explain first time visitors might 
anything that oh wow i butchered that i roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire i do not eat but i am given to understand that it improves the taste i invite you to use this fire well what a toasty sky shroom it doesn't really do much of anything does it but it's telling us to, and we have no other cooking pot. So let's plop a mushroom down. It's not close enough, is it? Well, that's a bunch of chrome. Let's try it one more time. If it doesn't work this time, I'm, I don't care anymore. Oh, there it goes. Toasty sky shroom. I'd rather save the rest for a true cooking pot. For a true roast pork. Salted pork. Apples. You can't carry any more melee weapons. Yeah. How annoying is that going to be in this game? Because Breath of the Wild, that was one of the big things. But we're still early on. It's it's all good. It's feeling good is what it's doing. Still wonder about the shirt, though. I hope I didn't miss it. This guy's a little bit more dangerous. <laughs> Rusty broadsword. Yeah, what you gonna attack with now? I'm taking your shield too. Okay. <laughs> Gotta exhaust the weak stuff first. Yeah, we're getting right back into this now. This is like, uh, the GameStop pre-order came with a plaque of wood that has this hand symbol on it. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. And your weakest crack. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Source of the right arm. <laughs> That's all he is. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key. Raru was an old man in a coat with no arms. I guess this is a different Raru. I like him though, he's kind of cool. Let's test this thing out. Alright. The closed door. 
Oh man, it's feeling big already and we're in the small part. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Day by day. We gotta take it day by day and not worry about it. Because this is going to be a massive adventure. We got Mother's Day coming up and uh, I might not be able to record because uh, I got to do something for my mom on Mother's Day and uh, it would be very bad to get in a rhythm of staying up late playing this game and recording and not fulfill my duties as a son. Arrows. So at the moment, like, I'm, I'm thinking of, like, hour-long episodes, but, I mean, like, I have no idea what we're, this beginning is like compared to the Great Plateau. Oh, yeah, that worked beautifully. And we got a bow. To complement the arrows we've been picking up. So many wooden sticks, dude. Long sticks. Let's just use the wooden ones. Because the long stick, it feels special, even though it's weaker. Twelve arrows, okay. More. Yes! First arrow I ever shot was a dead accurate thing. Certainly looks pretty. With all the oranges and the yellows. But without Rivali's Gale and uh, Cryonis. We gotta learn a little bit of new ways of doing things. Hey! Mushrooms. We also have to learn the properties of all these things, because I know you can attach them to arrows and stuff. And everything has a purpose. You cool? How do you say that? Yuko Shrai? Whoa, fancy. Looks like an egg. What's going on? Oh, this is a loading screen. That shows the map. That's interesting. Fast load, too. Ah, oh, so you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Now then, extend your hand. <laughs> so this is our great plateau. Getting all our hand abilities. Ultra hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Mm. That's the ultra hand ability. 
allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. Be able to grill a great number of things, really anything you can imagine. Mm. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. The ability to create. All right, let's get our fingers dirty here. Let's see what this feels like. Magnesis, so far. Okay. Now we need a longer one. So, okay. We gotta fuse two together. Hold R to rotate. See, this is the part that I don't know if is it is it gonna feel normal soon. Yeah, like that that doesn't work. Unstick. There we go. Attach. There we go. Flat. That'll work. Now we just get it across the gap, but the angle is weird. There it is. That didn't feel very good. But it also was my first time doing it, so... Let's take this, because... What if we can use it somewhere else? Like, what is that? There's treasure up there. We can use this together. See? I knew it. My shrine instincts were telling me, take the bridge. We got an amber for it, all right. Amber looks different, look at that. That's crazy. Do you know any girls named Amber? I feel like I grew up with some, but very few. Okay, we gotta build a hook raft thing. I've seen them do this with a Korok puzzle. So this isn't entirely new to me. See, like, how do I get it to be completely vertical upright to the way that the only angle that makes sense in this situation? It's, it's refusing to cooperate. And that is my fear that it will be a lot of, like, clunky finagling and dorking around instead of playing Zelda. But we also gotta say to ourselves, well, there we go, this one's cooperating. We're brand new to the mechanics, so we can't be crapping on them already. That's perfect. This one needs to go away. And then we hook it on the monorail. And that's pretty cool, actually. I, I think I like it. So now we just need to get to a state where we're comfortable building all kinds of stuff like this. And then it'll probably feel really good. Instead of being a little bit complainy like I've been about it. You have done well to reach this place. This is this is probably skippable, right? But it's first one, so... We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Spirit orb kind of deal anyway
Holy crap, we've almost been going for an hour already. Goes fast. Light of Blessing. Yeah, so spirit orbs. Oh, the health recovery. Definitely appreciated that. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. So what this doesn't explain, though, is why are all the Sheikah things gone? Oh. You did very well to get through that shrine. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Okay, let's get the other parts. Mm. Okay, pinning. Here we go. The Pura Pad. That sounds weird. Like puppy pads. Like training pads for dogs to not pee in the house. Okay. There's one. That's gonna be a beast to get to, because it's way up there. There's two. Why do I feel like that's not all the abilities, though? Now the part that... Basically, now what? Ultra hand, we can go all kinds of ways. We can craft things. Okay, we can build a bridge. See, because I'm recording this, I don't want to dork around with this kind of stuff too much. Like, I mean, I want to do it. I'm just saying I don't want to fumble. This, like, see, that's at an angle. Is that going to work? Let's, let's test it out. It might work. Yeah, I think we could pull. Let's just... That'll do the trick. We got to get more comfortable with this, the rotating of objects. It's a little bit clunky. But I'm sure it's just a thing you gotta get used to. They wouldn't design a whole game around it if it didn't work. All that for some apples? Okay, well, pay attention to the pins. Oh man, it's way over there. We gotta cross a pond. Several ponds. We're way back here when you really think about it. Well, one foot at a time. One step at a time. This first episode might be longer than an hour. Well, you, there's no sense even saying that kind of crap, because you, you know, watching this, how long it is. Yeah, sunset fireflies. Let's get as many as we can. You never know if we need 15 of them or whatever to upgrade the Sheikah outfit. It's gonna be all kinds of new outfits and things. Look at this boat! And Raru is here. I see that they're still at work even now. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned task to this day. Hmm. The fact that they labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they perform it still is disquieting to me. He's got some crazy hair. 
Well, they got a free boat for us right here. Could use that to cross that big pond I saw on the map. But we're nowhere near that pond yet. Fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Hmm, pardon me, I was absorbed in my wood cutting. Are you here for wood cutting too? Wood cutting? It's the practice of chopping down trees to create logs, you dope. Lumber has many uses. This is why I come here daily to chop wood. There's an axe I no longer need over there. It's yours. I, I, can I carry it, though? Wait, where's the axe? Oh, did he say it was over somewhere? I thought he was going to give it to me. And... Retire for the day. Okay, that does work. Smashing crates, just like the Magnesis crates in Breath of the Wild. There's the stone axe. That thing's good. That's a rock fused to a stick. So, let's get rid of a stick. Yeah, hey, that's an upgrade. Oh, shoot. We need to get a log bridge going. Whoa, frame rate. Going a little bit nuts. Yeah, I was surprised at GameStop. I was trying to think, like, am I going to buy this game digitally? And I was like, no, I want the physical copy. Oh, we might need three logs. Yeah, let's be safe and do three. Your behavior is a threat. <laughs> All right. Will this work? Yeah, but what about that boat, though? We're taking it. We're gonna use this boat. Let's get it over there. Okay. This stuff is, like, glued together with silly putty. Okay, we got a big body of water for this boat, but... This is... we don't need it. There's a bridge. Hmm. Oh, we're nowhere near the body of water that we actually have to cross. I guess this boat, we might just have to say goodbye to it. <laughs> I'm... I'm dedicated, though, man. We're taking it. I must protect myself. <laughs> I like how these guys freak out. Ready, bow. Press and hold. Select. Yep. I'm engaged in hunting. Other constructs you meet will be able to answer questions you may have about other subjects. My specialty is hunting. To hunt is to dispatch wild creatures. 
highly nutritious, nutritious, fish. I don't really want to hunt, but since he's talking about it, maybe this thing will go down in one arrow and we can get some chicken or something. Nope, it's still up. Well, now I just feel bad. All right, this boat objective is now starting to get a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> oh, hey. I didn't know they would still be running around. Put it in water, and the wind is guiding it nowhere. Forget the boat. Hey, rush rooms. You want to hear something funny? Um, there's a woman in Louisiana who, for the third time in a row, she's in the Guinness Book of world records for the third time in a row um, for having a five foot tall afro it's like the biggest afro in the world or something and I guess it just keeps getting bigger so she just keeps <laughs> re-winning the world record I love this view of the temple of time the garden of time was quiet the only sound to be heard was the time bell ringing in mornings and evenings it was as if this, the whole place changed with his chime, especially at night when the sound signals the emergence of mm. fireflies. Those were glorious times. This creature is a threat. Grabbing all the mushrooms, because you never know. Oh, we got an enemy camp here. Let's... Bird eggs. Could be good. Let's see if we can snipe this dude. Yeah. Right in the weak spot. Stam bulb. Cook it to restore stamina, okay. Link action with the bow, man. Whoop, there's another one. How did he get up there? Make any waste the durability of my shield? Hey, what do we got? It's a neat looking treasure chest.
300 rupees. Here we go. An opal. Smash some crates. It's worth it, man, for the arrows? Absolutely. Talking about not having enough arrows. Look at that bundle of five in there. 34 now. Wait, is this the big pond? Did we make it finally? Okay, so how do we want to do this? Could be more mushrooms and stuff over this way. What is that? I mean, oh, that's a Korok! Wait a minute! I just saw this! They just did this in the, uh... The launch live stream that they were doing. They saved this guy. You can see me! I'm a Korok, one of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friend, so we got separated. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Okay, I see it. Yeah. I'm so tired though, I can't move. Yeah, that thing is huge. Ooh. Yeah, this is the exact one that they did. Yeah. But we don't have any abilities except for... Uh, Let's just do it anyway. So we'll put two logs together. We might need three. So we might need to chop a tree. Let's use this stone axe that we found. There we go, we got a nice solid platform. Now we just need the hook. Will it cooperate? No, it's doing that weird angle thing again. That's really not gonna work, but maybe I can re-grab it or something. It's on there! It's not moving, though. Well, we gotta get him on there. That's the, the main objective here. Flailing about like a crazy person. All right, let's let's try to fix this. There we go. But still, this is a lot of finagling, though, just to do one little thing. going it's not moving can't magnesis pull it let's just get it more on the slope oh here we go just stay put okay we made it now we gotta dislodge the Korok from the silly putty. There's my friend! You're here! 
Reunited at last. Thanks. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Two Korok seeds. All right. I made it thanks to you. Okay. More boat materials and another hook. What is this chimney thing? music it's very oh you know what we could do we don't need to mess with anything we can shield surf on this because that's what they did in the uh nintendo launch event live stream that's cool now where are we the big pond Sneak up on this guy. Oh, oh. Thick stick. Well, we do want a thick stick, don't we? We gotta get that fuse ability. Well, we actually do need a boat now, though. Stone two-handed axe. All right, choo-choo. We don't have time for you. A bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. Yeah, it's unusable in this state. Is it, though? What happens if we attach it to an arrow? Should we do a two log boat since it's free and we don't have to waste an axe? Okay, see, that was fast and good. I liked that. When it does exactly what you want it to do first try. It's pretty cool. There we go. Cruising right along. Good thing the wind's in our favor. I mean, it's probably programmed to be, but... Of this and we're, we're barely moving <laughs> let's get to this shrine Yeah. 
What is this one called? Inisa. More importantly, what is the ability that we get in this one? Because I could have tried to go for the other one first. Yeah, that one just seemed harder to get to, though. These loads are fast, though. I don't think I need to cut them out. It's interesting that it shows you where you are on the map, though. I like that. Yeah, these loads are really fast. Compared to Breath of the Wild. Oh. Extend that hand again. I gotta adjust my position in my chair here. And sit in one way for too long. What is that? Sword ability? Fuse! There it is! Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. Hmm. Yep. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and fuse a nearby object to it? Mm. Use fuse and receive the blessing from this shrine. Okay. The ability to combine. Rusty Claymore, hey, that's pretty good, but uh, we don't have room for it. So what if we just attach this rock to a stick? Lots of stuff. Fire fruit. Its heating properties improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures. Generates heat when struck. Well, okay. Oh, whoops. That was how to attach to an arrow. I wanted to see how to do that. Didn't mean to skip it. What is this? Why is this platform here? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, thank you for showing me a second time what button does it. Let's do the fire fruit. Okay, that's easy enough. Just press up. We got a Think Fusion. Small key. No longer do we have free fire arrows, ice arrows, and shock arrows. We got to think about fusing stuff in this game. It's a whole different way of approaching stuff. a slow door. Oh, he's fusing things. That's not good. This is boulder on a stick. This looks ridiculous. Oh, man. Okay, that's not good. Almost didn't make it there. Rock hammer. Captain Construct One Horn. Wow, 
Why don't we just fuse a bunch of hammers? Rather than carrying a bunch of sticks, I'd rather have hammers. Good. What the heck is up here? Long stick. We can't carry anything. But wait, what if we fuse a long stick onto a long stick and just have a really long... Oh wait, what about spikes? I didn't know... That's crazy. I actually like that better. I didn't know you could fuse the spikes. Let's do a thick stick with spikes on the end. Yeah, we got some good weapons now. Spiky bat. I could get used to this. It's a little bit different than finding cool weapons about the world, but... It almost adds a layer of fun to it, crafting your own weapons. of the blessing yeah so we could skip it just like the spirit orb things yeah it was definitely a long waiting period for this game dude link who's talking to me i came because there's something i failed to give you Please take it. Energy cell, a gift from Zonai Construct designed to be worn on a belt. It can power Zonai devices. What I have just given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. I hope that the energy cell I provided is useful to you. Well, wait, man. We don't have bombs, but we can we have a rock hammer. to waste an extra swing. Yeah, I've been having a hard time finishing games lately. Like Hogwarts Legacy, I was recording that and, well, for multiple reasons I stopped, but I never went and, like, beat the game even on my own time. Oh, hey, look at they're engaged in combat. Let's see who wins. Wow, the chews are actually doing all right. Oh, 
Thank you, Choo Choo's, for weakening these guys. Well, yeah, earlier, like last year or something like that. Not too long ago, I bought Ratchet and Clank uh, Rift Apart, and I never finished that either. I started playing it, I thought about recording it, and uh, why is my controller not cooperating here? It keeps like recentering. I'm not, I'm trying to aim at his eye, and it keeps. Huh. Gyro's acting up. Uh oh. That's not good. Did I pick up that shield? Hey, we got a cooking pot. The first one we've seen. Soldier Reaper. Oh, this is nice. I appreciate this being able to drop a weapon that's very nice compared to breath of the wild all right let's get some some cooking going on here so we can do the basic apples what do we think two Did he just hum the Zelda theme? <laughs> Let's try the Sky Shrooms. We'll do three of them. Oh wow, that kind of doesn't... You need a lot of them to get any kind of heart recovery. But we can get several batches of them to see it was worth it to pick up these mushrooms. Let's try four. There we go. Four makes two. That's definitely more useful to us. I just want to have a decent supply of recovery just in case. You never know, this game seems like it might be harder than Breath of the Wild. Get our full three recoveries going with the apples. can do the stamella shrooms too. Get some stamina things just in case we need that at some point. We could do it with the stam bulbs, but maybe it's best to save it for two separate recipes.
They look like leeks. Sweet and tasty. Very nice. Okay. We got a nice supply of dishes now. Board Guster. Can't carry it. So now how on earth do we get to Discovery? What? Pondside Cave? Bright Bloom Seed. These are used to light up things in the dark. I did see them using that. Oh, we don't want to waste this good weapon. Keese eyeballs create a homing arrow. Keese wings. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item attached. Okay. is nothing. What is that? A bubble frog. It's like picking up all the stuff. GameStop for like 20 minutes just waiting for my turn to go into the checkout line. I didn't expect that many people where I live to be interested in Zelda. It was literally the first time in like six years of living in this area that I've seen other gamers in that quantity or whatever. Because I don't really go to cons or anything like that. I keep a low profile though. Like I have my good old days gaming t-shirt I could have worn. But I didn't want... <laughs> Bubble Gem. Its eerie blow may entice you to collect even more. There's the shirt! All right. Well, that feels good that we didn't miss it. Hey, this is that spot that uh, was in the very first footage we saw of this. Yeah, this is Onuma's video that he did, where he first showed us how he could make a boat. Mm. Culinary constructs, maker constructs, you'll find all sorts of them still active. We began to learn from them instead. I'd 
be cool to come across a culinary one that makes food for you. You know me and smashing boxes. Gotta do it, man. It's paying off, though. Getting lots of arrows for it. Okay, now to do what Anuma did. Although he made it like a Y-wing shape, we don't need to do that. That should do it. I think that's good enough. I don't know what's over there. This feels cool. I like it. It's just nice and peaceful. Rusty broadsword. No sense lighting a fire here because we already did our cooking, so. Yeah, but I can't imagine a five foot tall afro. <laughs> We're just trying to picture that. I saw the news article, but I didn't see a picture of the lady. Well, because you gotta buy the Guinness Book of World Records, right? Hey. Where are the remote bombs when you need them? Oh, jeez. Wait, you know what we could do, though? Since the normal chew is kind of useless, what if... Wait, we fused a fire fruit. There we go, now we got a fire arrow option. Well, I mean, we had one with the fire fruit, but now we have another one. getting so late because uh, I came back from GameStop and just immediately started recording. So I'm a little bit tired if I'm a little quiet. That's why. There's another treasure. I think we could take these guys out. The middle guy seems like he's a stronger one, but He's fusing a barrel onto his weapon. Okay.
Well, that happened. <laughs> Okay, that's not a bad thing to restart by. I think I got more red chew jellies. Let's just ignore that camp this time. <laughs> I'm not gonna repeat deaths. We got a mine card here. first before we hop in there. Discovery Mining Cave. Straightforward enough. <laughs> Away we go. Into the darkness. to start using these seeds. This cave is especially dark. You will need a light in order to proceed. We got some. You know, speaking of caves... Oh wait, hang on. So we throw, but then we select this. And then our weapon is safe and we can just throw this. Okay, that's not bad. What is this green thing? Zonite for crafting of weapons and armor. But yeah, did you guys ever see that article that was somewhat recent of uh, a Spanish athlete woman spent 500 days in a cave? in an experiment on isolation or something. And apparently every five times she had a bowel movement, somebody came to clean that up and also deliver her eggs. Eggs and something else, I forget what the other thing was. So she, like, was monitored, kind of? She had somebody delivering her eggs? And replacing her poop pot? But, uh... Otherwise, she was 500 days in a cave all alone. But she said she really liked it. Processing? Zonite is processed by smelting it into a furnace. It is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. Oh, we might get something here. Is 
Zonai technology is typically powered by Zonai charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting Zonai into other useful materials is called processing. Thanks. I'm going to take this now. Oh, I can't. Okay. But he's encouraging us to check out the shelf. Oh, because it's a shop. Said to be used for energy cell improvement. Well, if that's the case, I want a bunch of them. We can't take them all. Let's just go with four. Seems like a worthwhile thing, maybe. Take a couple of these, too. Heck, we could take five. We know we need to use five for those gotcha machines. Oh, that was all of them, too, anyway. I want all these. Well, there is more Zonite, though. <laughs> what did he say? I must protect myself or something? I don't care what you're saying. I'm trying to smash this thing. Your behavior is a threat. I love that line. I can see that becoming a meme. Your behavior is a threat. What is this? I've not given permission to take those. Could it be that you have forgotten to bring Zonai capsules? Convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. It's unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. Three fans! Well, we've been using the fans, so we know what they do. I always carry several with me for any occasion. Okay, so before you take them out, know that you can't put them back. So basically, don't use them unless you have to. That's how I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh man, where's my minecart that got us into this cave? Should we really go all the way back for it? Oh wait, there's more Zonai. I didn't bother with the light bulb because uh, it seemed bright enough in here. Well, now that we have more of that, we could probably get the rest of this table stuff. How many do you require? Six! Okay, we cleared them out. Hopefully that's worth it and not a waste of materials. Let's go get that mine cart. Or actually, you know what? We could fuse a hammer since our one broke. <laughs> okay. Kind of getting the flow of things here. actually pull this through here oh no they blocked it didn't they well I don't know oh we got it it 
It's a little bit of a slow process, but it'll be worth it. It's already got a fan attached to it. Crazy roller coaster. I don't know where we're going exactly. Hopefully, it's close to the other shrine. Guys everywhere. The time bell that sounds from the temple. This guy and his bell. Hmm. Okay, so we are nowhere near where we have to be. <laughs> I need to reach my friend another one of these. Well, we have a cart. We can just bring that cart over here. If he is across the way. Where's the plume of smoke? Yeah, it is right across there. The backpack is like four times his size. The, here's the gotcha machines. So we know we've seen people put five charges in there. So let's just do that. Zonai parts, what do we got? A portable pot, that's a one-time use. Fan, flame emitter. I think I've seen them use that a little bit too. Okay, just various parts. Rod, it didn't work. There we go. This thing is certainly coming in handy. I'm gonna bring it everywhere. We're gonna take it to the Ganondorf fight and everything. No, just kidding. Man, there's a lot of silly putty on him. For bringing my friend here's something for you another two seeds yeah. more zonite okay it's not bad
probably fall asleep to this music. It's just that subtle. Another track. It's a little bit broken, though. Maybe that doesn't matter. Let's get Old Faithful. We said we're bringing it everywhere. I like to get the most bang out of my buck. Rather than build a new one. Okay, we gotta get the fan on the other side, so... Well, wait a minute, I don't want to move the whole thing, I just want to detach the fan. There we go. Another thing happened. Well, there goes Old Faithful. I guess we're not bringing it to the end after all. Well, we brought it to some end. Let's just focus. We gotta get to the red pin. How are we gonna do that? Just head in that general direction. Discovery! Spicy peppers! Pit cave! Rooms. We know that that creates a decent healing thing for this early. We should probably cook the spicy peppers in case we encounter the cold. Seven minutes, 30 seconds of cold resistance. That's all we've got, so we gotta make it count if we do run into that situation. give you a lot of these, but I guess that's good because who wants to be in the dark? Ambers and rubies. to go. Which way do we go first? Where the spicy peppers are. This 
Seems like a dead end anyway. Oh wait, maybe not. Oh, speaking of cold. Yeah, right away too. Well, this shrine is right there. I wonder if it'll be worth it to go cook up the spicy peppers. But I'm also curious what's this way. Sounds like a Metroid. Oh, it's that frog thing again. Well, we have no way of getting back up here. We don't have a send yet. Was stupid. I should have known better. Well, we need the cold resistance anyway, so sauteed peppers. Now we gotta move fast, because we're on a time limit here. Constructs aren't really well. The one did kill me. Never mind. I was gonna say they they haven't been too bad, but I did forget. I just got a game over. No paraglider yet either, so we gotta be careful. up there. There's no way we can climb that. Oh, will this freeze him? Yes, it did! Oh, that's a flame emitter. Wait, we could put that on the shield. Rusty broadsword. Wait a second. Hold on. This is interesting. Uh, we got to select the right thing. So fuse. Now we have a flame throwing shield. That looks absolutely ridiculous, but... Discovery of the Century Bottomless Cave. Bomb flowers! Those are good. Even the Nintendo of America people were saying, hold on to those bomb flowers. Man, those 
bloopies are hard to get. Oh, we got a like-like, man. Probably best to just avoid them. Man, I could play this for like six hours straight. I, I can't commentate that long, though. <laughs> I wonder how many people are taking a Zelda holiday. Like they were saying in the live stream that people were tweeting about that and stuff. Does that have... Yeah, Flame Emitter Shield! So we have two of them now. Whoa! It burns through the battery fast, but man, it's good. All you gotta do is hold the shield out there and it just burns them alive. An opal? And a like like stone. Good ingredient for elixirs. Another flame emitter. Well, it really burned through our battery, so. I'm gonna be hoarding those things unless. It seems like we have to use it. That is an ascend thing. If I've ever seen one, but we don't have it. The shrine is right above us, too. So I would like to ascend. Two minutes to go. Wait a minute, is this that other thing where they built a big log stick? Yes, it is. Uh, where's that? Yeah, stone axe. Very quickly, we have to build a stick tower. Will that work? Sure, that'll work. Don't think twice, it's alright. Bob Dylan said that. We need another stick. That might work, but we probably need another one. And by stick, I mean log. Hope that it works. We've got under a minute of cold resistance. I didn't go back and cook up those spicy peppers. Speaking of, got a couple more. Oh, hey. Well, you know what? It's worth it. Smash through that flint. Because we need more cold resistance. So, sort. I don't like relying on the food. 
like instead of clothing that gives you the cold resistance. But it's cool though, it's a nice challenge. Five minutes for two, that's not bad. Better than nothing. Wait, the shrine is right here. Maybe we don't need it. If this is the end of this, like, Great Plateau section, that would be good. Gutenbach. Speaking of Ascend, I wonder if that's what this one is. Oh. It's either that or the rewinding thing. Oh, that's the Ascend icon. I recognize it. Move upward through solid material and emerge on top of it. Mm. Mm. All right, let's test this thing out. The ability to rise. Now I'm curious, does it auto snap the camera? Yes, it does. It's one of those things where watching other people do it, you don't know if they're pushing this the camera up or if it does it on its own. can't carry it. Well, I have a damage thing, don't I? Yeah. Drop that junk. for those guys is uh kind of neat can't fuse onto bows I would imagine it just seems like everything's very weak in this game but maybe it's still early on now why didn't that work yank it down Oh, no, there we go. When in doubt, use arrows.
kind of a neat ability, actually. Nice little tutorial of that power. So now what? I see you've restored some power to that new arm of yours. Mm. The door into the Temple of Time should now open for you. Oh, yeah. How do we get over there? Can we just fast travel to the shrine? We could probably just... Oh, we're taking damage. So I either gotta fast travel or just go for it. Oh, what? You can't? I'm pressing it and it's not working. Maybe we gotta unlock that first. Well, this water is going to be freezing, though. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. Well, how the heck are we going to get out of this mess? Cold resistance clothing. Oh, that couldn't have come at a better time. Just doing what feels right as I see it. So, five of these things again. <laughs> A wing. Try balancing in the center of the wing. Is that what's laying down over here? It looks like it. bunch of them. This guy's sitting here again.
Wait a minute. What if we break this icicle? That's doing something. I hope this flies. Oh, this is perfect. It's going right to the Temple of Time. How do I get it to descend? I guess I gotta stand on the nose of it a little bit. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine now. <laughs> the closed door is complete. What is this giant? Is this a tear of the kingdom? Oh, it's on her necklace. Okay, I don't really know what just happened. Oh, we got the recall ability. Okay, reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse moment or movement at any time. Zelda has vanished as well. Hmm. What you just saw, it's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was sort of an echo, one that reflects her sheer will. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess this is a recall test. Oh. Oh, that's funky. It turns into, like, a mouse cursor. statue smiles upon you 
Well, smiles are good and all, but... Oh no, we're gonna die. That door stands as a test of your own vitality. You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open it. Well, there's one more shrine on this island. There. Why didn't you say that before? <gasps> yeah, because then it would be the four, and then you cash in the four for a heart container. Let me see the Pura pad. Let's you travel to certain places instantly. Okay, so now is it unlocked? I suggest the one at the bottom of your map. You'll find the last shrine around there somewhere. Well, I will heed his advice and do just that. Room of Awakening? Wait, this is where we started everything. By the sounds of it, with a name like that. Hey, we could reverse that wheel. Yeah, this goes back out, but I'm actually a little bit curious now. How do we get over there? Oh, I see. Worthwhile treasure over here or something. I don't know. Oh, I almost fell. I like how there's no cooldown period on it. You could just like keep spamming it. It's a little bit overpowered in that sense. Where does this go? Go to a shrine. Wait, is this the shrine that we're supposed to find? Nacho, ya. Yeah. Nachos would be pretty good right now. So would sleep, though, man. Who? Oh. Getting tired over here. But we gotta keep going. It's, it's too exciting. The ability to rewind. Easy enough. Oh, can we rewind all the way up to the waterfall? That's crazy if this works. That's so crazy. that it makes is funky too. Good. 
Oh, I see what we gotta do when they intersect. Yeah, we're we're in the flow of things now, man. Everything's just kind of flowing nicely at the moment. That was a very fast shrine all of a sudden. We got fast travel unlocked and then just got that right away. That one felt good. I didn't know that going on the wheel would be the shrine that we needed. I I thought we had to go outside to get to it. So my hunt for treasure was actually what we needed to do. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. What's an energy well? Oh, it increases the capacity of the energy cell you're carrying. That would be very good. Get producing. 100 crystallized charges. Whoa, we only have 10. Oh, we got to go back to the statue. That's... Now what? There's no real fast travel to the Temple of Time. We might be able to just fly with this thing over there. though. How are we gonna dunk this thing? Without the paraglider, this is scary. Just don't really think about it and just enjoy the ride, I guess. We're going to overshoot the temple, though. That's... that's how you die. Wait! Steer to the water! Well... ascend? That actually worked out just fine. Now I gotta do this rewind thing again. You think there would just be like a staircase or something? <laughs> After doing it. I guess they want you to practice using all the abilities, though.
Oh wow, we don't even get the choice of stamina. Well, that's a little bit of new animation. Restore some of the life force you lost to the gloom. New text, too. Okay, so now we can open this door. And this is the surface, isn't it? managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You're almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. Exactly as Zelda said. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. Seems like the end of our tutorial section here. Is this just, do we just use the send? I uh, don't really see any other option here. Kind of random. I guess they want you to. Get used to using it. Kinds of interesting things. <laughs> Pie, the Master Sword is talking again.
Now, what just happened there? The Master Sword went, like, <laughs> rewound through time to Zelda? To the kingdom of Hyrule. Yes, it is time to descend to the surface. I see several ponds that we could dive into, but... Can we steer to the top pond? Sundelion. Restore health depleted by gloom when used in cooking. We should probably stop and save this for next time, but I want to keep going, but I do need to get to sleep though too. Hudson Construction. We remember that dude from Terrytown. carrying a bunch of apples. That's where we gotta go. Let's just start heading that way. That Pokeblin or Bokoblin, however you say it, was pretty easy to take out with the flame shield thing. I like the fighting. I want to do more taking out these guys. We could rewind a barrel to them or otherwise just... Ultra hand it.
Go bow. Can't carry any more of those. Can carry shields, though. This is Lon Lon Ranch. Looks very ranch like. I don't know where we are exactly. Even though it's the same world as Breath of the Wild, I still don't really know it. I mean, I do, but we need to get the map looking the same. Carrying fire fruits. <laughs> Attach it to an arrow to increase its attack power. Okay. I wish I knew in advance, like, what ingredients you might need to uh, hold on to for upgrading outfits and stuff. If that's still a thing in this game, I don't know. I wonder if these big rocks are some of the things that you can rewind back up to the sky, or if these ones are not those particular kind. But we're not trying to go back to the sky. though. No, they're not. Civilization at last, dude! No way. Link, Mr. Link, is that really you? Where have you been? No one's seen you since Princess Zelda since... Or Princess Zelda since you went to investigate the castle. Pura has barely slept. She's been trying to figure out where you two went. At the moment, Pura should be in the building with the telescope. Please hurry there now. She'll want to know that you're all right. Pleasant morning, hey, you, where have you been? Don't answer that, tell me later. For now, you should go talk to Pura. She's been in a tizzy since you and the princess disappeared. Okay, second floor, does that mean ascend? That 
hair, those eyes, duh, duh, oh. Dr. Pura, the swordsman, the swordsman has returned. Oh, she's grown up now. Okay. Now, where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Hey. That looks interesting. Phew. One step at a time. Exactly happened. So, when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy. Which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then later you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura pad from an unusual creature and learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rauru. The master sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. What? What? Are you saying you came from up there? This Roru you met, I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain the mummy you found must be related to the upheaval. Hmm. Castle rising up, the runes falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail. Are you sure you heard the princess speak and she gave you a clear message to find her? Maybe she's trapped and needs help. That settles it. I know you only returned, Link. But I need you to meet with the search party up at Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge is named Haas. Yes. Linky. Character profiles now. It's kind of neat. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. All right, I think we're going to stop here because I'm getting pretty tired and uh, got to get the video to render and everything too. Yeah, we're so close to something. But I think we'll save this for next time. So let's actually, speaking of saving, figure out how to do that. So thank you guys for watching. I don't know how many parts this is going to be, but I'll see you next time.